Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Martinez with Martinez Art Lab and we are looking at Adobe Illustrator 2020 and today we're just going to do a couple basics in the program itself just to get a grounding in it. So I've got the program open. The first thing I'm going to do is click create new. I'm just going to create a new document. I'm going to do the default setting or one of the default settings which is the, just a letter size. Um, I can change my orientation over here. I'm going to leave everything else at the default options and click create. Now this is the artboard that I have to work with and I'm just going to go through a couple of the basic tools. So the first tool that we have is our selection tool. Whenever I have anything that I need to select so I can change it or add to it, um, this is the tool that I'm going to use. Okay, we're going to look at the pen tool right now, and the pen tool, um, when I click on it, every click I make is going to take my um, line into a different direction, and my first click and my last click need to wind up in the same spot. So click, 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 click. And now I've made a shape. A couple options I have are changing the fill color, so when I click that fill color, I can go to my swatches here and let's say I'll make it yellow um, or whatever color I want. I'll click off to the side. The stroke is the outline on the outside of it. So I'm going to leave that black and then this is the weight of the stroke. So the larger that number is, the thicker the line will be. So I'll leave it at 10 so you can see. Um, this is our curvature tool, which works similarly to the line tool or to the pen tool. Every click I make is going to take my line in a different direction, but it's going to curve it. So I just made four, five, six clicks. And the same thing, my clicks are going to, my first click and my last click will wind up in the same spot. If I want to change colors on this, I can change the stroke color and I can change the fill color. Let's change it to a green. Um, and I'll click off to the side and we see our couple options. Now remember, if I want to use my selection tool, click on either shape. When I see that blue box around it, I can use these anchor boxes on the corners or whichever anchor box I want. I'm left clicking and dragging and that's just going to resize it. So I have some options there. Um, resize my shape if I'd like to. I'll click off to the side. And let's go ahead and look at the star tool and we've got a rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, and a line segment tool. So I'll just show you with the star tool because um, that's our, what we have chosen already. They all work the same. When I left click and drag, it's going to make my shape. I've got my default settings there of my fill color and stroke. So I'll just change it just to um, show you just the different options that we have. And remember our stroke can be changed in thickness or thinness. Um, and then the paintbrush tool, pencil tool, blob brush tool, again, all work similarly. So I'll show you the paintbrush tool. <clears throat> right now it's really tiny, but I'm going to left click and drag, well, left click and draw rather, and I drew that kind of squiggly line. I can change the options on my brush, so size and um, different types of brushes are down there. So I just change it to a thicker size and left click. Um, when I drew that, right now the stroke is the color. That's my default. So if I want to, I could change the color, but before I do that, I need to click my selection tool and select my line. Um, same thing applies. I can drag, I can um, left click and drag to resize this when it's selected, and then I can also change the color. Um, let's change the color to a blue. And I'll click off to the side so you can see what's happening. Um, and then the last two tools I'm going to show you today, the type tool. So I can type. When I clicked, it made an automatic, um, it automatically put that text there so I could see. I just typed the word art and I can select it. So I'm highlighting it. And I can change the color. 
I can change the style. I can change the size. Oops, it unselected there. So let me select again. I'll change the size. Um, I can I can change. Um, those are all my options. So if I have a lot of text, I can align the text. I can. Those are my options there. Um, the last tool I'm going to show you is the eraser tool. The eraser tool um, I can use to erase things. So if I ever want to delete anything, again, my selection tool, I'll just select and I can click delete on my keyboard backspace if you're not on a Mac. Um, and those are just some basic tools in Illustrator. Have fun um, experimenting.